Hi my loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Chloe and today I have a super, super exciting video. So I'm not getting close to the camera for no reason. It is because, look at my lashes. Okay, it's very relevant to the video. Uh, before I get into it, I don't really have a tea of the day today. This is honestly gross what I'm drinking. So basically at the end of shifts at Starbucks, like you can take the tea that you're dumping out at the end of the night. And I decided to take just like plain passion tea. And I thought it'd be really good. And it's been in the refrigerator for two days and now I'm drinking it. It's okay, it's just, it's not really a tea of the day. It's like leftover tea, so. Basically, today I am so excited because um, I did a video, I would say like almost a year and a half ago now, it was one of my first videos on how to start a false eyelash business. And I didn't drop a vendor at the time necessarily. I did put the vendor that I used for my boxes, but not for like lashes, because I use completely different avenues to like sort out that video anyways. Basically, I had made boxes overseas with my logo on them, private labeled them. And then I took lash books, similar to the one you're seeing in the background right now. And I had disassembled them myself and filled like a hundred different packs of lashes to sell on my website. So since making that video, it is one of my bigger videos on my channel and I've gotten so many comments about where to get false eyelashes, where to get a good price for false eyelashes from a vendor, um, where to get them private labeled, and basically just the best route to go down to start your own false eyelash business. And I feel like it's a really common misconception that it's difficult to do that in these days because there's like so many companies, but that's just not the truth because there's always room for a new company to come in. And if every company owner or like every owner of a company thought, oh, the market's too saturated, I can't do it, then nobody would have businesses. So the only way to make a business is to start your business. And that a lot of the time means from the ground up. Most of us don't have money that's handed to us or like, you know, a business that has already been a business that we're buying. So a lot of us start from ground zero and it's really hard to build from that because you don't know what you're doing in the beginning. I'm still learning years into owning a boutique, years into doing lots of different online businesses. So with all that being said, I had a company reach out to me in order to basically showcase all of their different eyelash products and talk about their prices, their MOQ, which is minimum order quantity. And this was really exciting to me because um, I've been offered by companies like, oh, can I send you a pair of lashes and you can wear them and talk about them. And the thing is, is like, while that's really generous and exciting, it doesn't do me or the company much good because the thing is, is like my personal purchasing is probably going to be at Ulta most of the time. But if I'm buying for wholesale, that's where I'm like, now we're talking because I own a business. So this company actually reached out to me and said that they have a ton of lash styles, that they have good prices and that they saw my video and were wondering if I would be interested in showing you guys their company. So I went on their website, you know, did my research. I always like go online and do all my research to make sure it's a good company and that um, I think it is actually good prices and that it's not like a crazy MOQ. So when I was looking at their website, I was like, this is really cute. Like it's really, it's mad cute, trust me. And I did not actually expect them to send me as many items as they did at all. I thought they were gonna send me like four pairs of lashes. Um, and that is not what happened. I'm going to show you everything so you can get an idea. As well as, um, I'm going to screenshot from, I'm probably not going to screenshot. I'll probably just take pictures of these individual lashes so you can see the styles and the style numbers. But um, there are hundreds of options for mink and synthetic lashes from this vendor. So I'm going to actually get into this vendor now. Their name, their website, their MOQ their styles, etc. So this is Carlina Lashes and Carlina Lashes does individual like consumer selling and then basically they also do wholesale selling. So let's say that you want a pair of lashes, you're like I want to look fly this weekend, you can buy lashes from them as a regular everyday consumer. Um, as a business owner you can also order and wholesale from them. 
So what's cool about this is that they offer the lashes and they also offer the packaging. And the reason why this is a huge benefit is because their price point is fairly low. So from looking at their website, I didn't see a single pair of lashes that are sold to like the everyday person for more than $3.50. And the reason why that is intriguing to not only me, but would be to people starting a business is because $3.50 for personal sale, not even wholesale pricing is amazing especially for mink lashes like if you know anything about mink lashes they are mad expensive so that is a really really great deal and i'm kind of looking right here on their website just trying to kind of see the things that had piqued my interest ultimately i hope my videos help people who are starting businesses because i know how hard it can be and a lot of the times like i'll look at companies and i'm like that's not really it I don't really love that, but um, honestly, before I even like got the products, I really was happy with what I was seeing online, and now that I have them, and I'm going to show you guys them, you'll see what I'm talking about, they're just really cool styles, like they're unique, they're all over the place, they're diverse, so you can get like 28 millimeter or 12 millimeter, and right now I'm wearing 28 millimeter, so... I just think they're so cool um, and I know they're a lot for some people and they're kind of a lot for me even but that's why they offer so many different lengths because if you think about it like I might wear these on like a day off of work but if I'm at my job I'm probably gonna have on like 22 millimeter lashes something like that and I'm gonna show you the different sizes so their lashes have no minimum order quantity so you can literally purchase the lashes for exactly the price that you see for just one of them. Um, and I don't suggest that because oftentimes whenever you're buying from a vendor, the more you buy, the better of a deal you get. And so I would always recommend buying as much as you can afford to buy um, without putting yourself in a hole because that's not great business wise either. But I think that that is so, so sick that as I was looking at their website, the lashes for consumers like regular everyday consumers was 350 for mink lashes so i would recommend that you buy quite a bit even though they don't have a minimum order quantity and if you don't know what that means that basically just means like some places say like to make it worth my time working with you i want you to buy 500 of this one unit so one style of lashes you need to buy 500 of them and that can be frustrating for people starting businesses, as you guys know, because it's like, I probably have money for like 10 of your styles right now, not 500 of your styles. So it's a good way to also test if you like the company, if you like how they work with you, um, if you like the quality. And I can tell you from having these products with me, the quality is excellent. I never would support something on my channel that I don't actually think would be a good idea. There always are things that slip through the cracks, you know. Um, I might make a video on something at some point and then later on be like, you know what, it's not for me anymore. But with lashes, it's kind of black and white. Like they're either good or they're not. They're either a good price or they're not. And what I've realized about this company is that there's a lot of benefits to working with them if you like them as much as I did when I was in contact with them. So um, another thing that I was noticing is that you can design the boxes. So they do do private labeling. So you can order, I'm just gonna kind of show you this just as an example. So let's say you're ordering this style from them. This is one of their styles. Um, you could get your logo, like let's say right here or right here. Um, and you can private label them. So that's super cool because in my last video, I did assemble them all myself to save money. And I also didn't have a vendor that was this low priced and no minimum order quantity. So that is kind of why I'm talking to you guys about this company today, because I didn't understand that there was other avenues at the time. And if you want to save money, by all means, do what I did. It did save me money, 100%. But if you can find companies like this that offer a good price, a low MOQ, or no MOQ, that is excellent. Like, that is the key to starting your business on a budget. So that's what I really like about this company the most, is it, it's like a 
one-stop shop. Ew, I hate that term, but it is because you can get the lashes, you can get the trays for the lashes, and the boxes private labeled for like one flat rate price. And you just need to reach out to their uh, customer service. And I'm going to put everything below. So there's two other things that I wanted to mention. Their tools, they have brushes, they have beauty blenders. I don't know why we all still call them that because like there's one beauty blender brand, but that's what they are, you know, and they have all kinds of tools. I'll show you one other thing just for the sake of an example, like little um, spoolies, right? So they have things like this, no minimum order quantity. You can order one, you can order 2000. So that is really, really nice when you're ordering in wholesale and very uncommon. Uh, for those of you who have been all over wholesale websites, I'm sure lots of you have who watch my channel, there is just so many companies to sift through for all kinds of things, like whether it's clothing or lashes or shoes or whatever it is. And it's really hard to find like one company to work with. So they do offer tools, they offer lashes, boxes, makeup brushes, makeup tools. And also the fact that they're customizable means that it doesn't have to look private labeled. Like private labeled stuff is private labeled, right? We've all seen Morphe, we've all seen companies like that where it's private labeled. But you can add flair to stuff. You could add sparkles, you could add holographic writing, things like that that you could do that make something that everybody can buy your own. And that's the nice thing about private labeling in general. And I have made videos on private labeling, how I private labeled, and the best thing to do, just in case you're wondering, like the first steps to even doing that, this is off topic from the lashes, but um, the best way to go about private labeling is to have a logo made. I used Canva, it's $10 a month. They still charge me like two years later. I forget to call for anything important. So, Basically, I made my Canva two years ago to make my logo for my business. And then next thing you know, it's like two years later and they charged me a lot of money, like probably $200. But uh, basically, it was really good. It helped me make a PNG and PDF and you want both files. It's really easy. So once you have your logo, they offer so many different fonts and styles. You can save it as a PNG or a PDF and you want to save it as both because one has a transparent background, so you can print on something like a uh, clear cover to whatever you're making, or um, a PDF which does the same on a colored background. So let's say you don't use a PNG file and you have a PDF and your background's, your background is white, it's gonna have a little white spot and it's gonna look weird. So it just won't look great, you know what I mean? So. That's kind of the reason why I would say it's really important to save both files. That's a little bit off topic, but I hope that's like a helpful tip if you are starting a lash business or any business to save your logo as both files. The last thing about Carolina Lashes is that they offer world worldwide shipping. And this is nice because some places only ship to like United States and China and everybody everywhere would love to start a business more often than not so it is frustrating for those countries that have trouble getting those shipments in or having companies that won't work with them because the cost of shipping it is a lot higher and that is the really nice thing also is you can get it shipped anywhere in the world so now i'm getting to like the really fun part of the video this is what i was so hyped about okay because here's the thing i never never thought that anybody would send me anything like and I mean that dead ass I never thought anybody would because um when I started my channel I've said this before I did not think it would get like any momentum and that's not why I started it but then I started to build like this community of all of you guys where we talk about our business stuff and it's like a community and I really like that and I feel like it is such a blessing to have a platform, even small, even big, no matter what, where I can, you know, get things like this because I typically will go to Ulta and spend $10 on a pair of lashes like all of us do. And then I use it for two weeks and then it looks wrecked and then I go buy a new one and it's just so expensive. So things like this, I am so appreciative of and Carolina Lashes. I definitely am grateful to you guys for working with me and just sending me the stuff to show 
you know, all of you. So I'm going to get started with this one, which is from a pack that I'm wearing. And these are Mink Lashes. So I actually thought that they are going to send me like individual styles because I sent them the four that I really liked. Then they sent me like all of their lash books, basically. And I did not expect that. So typically I wouldn't have picked ones that are as long as this, but I'm really glad I have the opportunity to actually try different styles. So this is the first one. And as you can see... They're not very shiny, which usually is an indicator of synthetic or mink. So if you buy from a vendor that says these are mink and they're very, very shiny, more often than not, they're not mink, they're synthetic. So that's a really good way to tell. Um, so you can tell on these that they're like their hair. I'm wearing hair, but so these are really pretty. There are 10 styles in this particular book. I'm going to show a picture um, of these styles so you can like pause the video if you want to go check them out on the website and purchase. It says on this book actually what the style is next to how many millimeters it is, which is really cool because I would have never even thought to ask them for that information. So yeah, it's super cool. And I'm wearing the style MK589 on my uh, eyes right now. It's going to say on my lashes right now. I guess on my lashes, if I still have any after how long I've been putting lashes on for. But I'm going to jump to the next one. So this one is faux mink. So it is not real mink hair. And you can tell pretty much immediately, you can tell that these are shinier. You can just tell. Um, and especially in person, it's hard to see on camera. So these styles are a little bit more mellow. They're not as dramatic as the last one. Um, and I do like these, but I'm like stuck between wanting insane lashes and really natural lashes all the time. So I feel like these would be up my alley. I like the like demi wispy looking ones usually. Like how there's a separation between them on my eyes. I really like that. So that are, that are this one. That is this one, and this one has um, sizes ranging from 18 millimeters to 19 millimeters. Oh, you know what? I'll take that back. 16 millimeters to 21, but there's only like 116 and 121. They're mostly 17, 18, and 119. So that's this one, and this one is really gorgeous. And then these right here are also mink and these are absolutely gorgeous i love this one this might be my favorite because it's the most wearable every day and again all these lash styles are available to purchase in wholesale that is why i'm showing you these um it's really it's actually pretty cool to see so many samples in person because online you have no idea where to start most of the time. I don't. I'm a mess when I'm shopping in wholesale. I'm like, that's really pretty. That's really not. I love that. I don't know how I feel about that. And then I have 30 different wholesale things in my cart and I can't decide. So that is this one. And then they sent me one more lash book. Oh my God, this one is so cool. I was like, I'm gonna cry. This is beautiful. I have actually fun fact never owned lashes like this in my life because they're wild like they're crazy but they're so pretty okay I was hyped when I saw these and like where would I wear these to but I was still so excited ready aren't these so cool like the pink ones I'm gonna wear I know I'm gonna wear these I just don't know where the tan ones are super cool um, I really, really like the star ones. I'm going to wear those. I just, again, don't know where. Um, but they're just, they're beautiful. And I really am so grateful for all this. Like, this is nuts. I've never had this many lashes. Um, I'm going to put some of this aside to send to you guys, just to let stuff add up, to send in, like, one package to some of you guys. Um, but this in particular, I'm going to keep because they're nuts like i want to wear these i just wear but they're so pretty also in some of their promo photos i'll show you one right here there's a girl wearing some of these like crazier lashes 
and I don't want to say crazy that has like a negative connotation just these more eccentric lashes and she looks so gorgeous like I thought that she looked so pretty so that's these I'm most excited about these I don't know why like they're not really everyday wearable but I think if I saw these star ones and I was still doing my makeup Instagram as heavily as I used to 100% would have bought them like for personal use not for my website maybe but also maybe I would have because they're so cool um, one other thing to note, I have opened and closed this package multiple times and touched these lashes in particular because they just like blow my mind and nothing has fallen off of them. So these have little hearts on them. These have little, sorry, you can't see. These have little stars. These have little hearts and they seem very sturdy. Um, do I think they'll fall off over time of wearing them? Absolutely. Like they're still lashes, but the quality of all of these are amazing and I was really shocked actually when I got these in the mail because even even if they had sent me four styles um, I would have been able to see the quality and I have seen so many lashes in my time of wearing lashes selling lashes and these are really really good quality like I would definitely recommend them to you guys if you find styles that you like for your business they are great quality now i'm gonna get into some of like the little things that i'm gonna be putting aside for you guys uh, maybe one of the lash books as well so i'm gonna start with this style and this is mostly to showcase that they have these little boxes that you can get and this is one of their many many styles of boxes so this style is dm258 and I don't want to take it out for sanitary reasons just because I'm not going to be wearing these and I'm going to be sending these out. So I really, really just don't want to touch it. I don't know. I just feel like I wouldn't want somebody to touch something that's going on my eyeball. So I hope you can see it really well through here. So then there's these. And these are gorgeous. I love these. This is like, you know, saying I like the little gaps right up my alley. So these are DM293 and these are super pretty. I really love these ones. Um, these are DM254 right here. And these are a little more full, but less packed. So there's like less lash, but they're less spread out, if that makes sense. So this can give you almost more of a natural look if you were like how I do, I always have my makeup all done. If you have eyeliner on, these can look surprisingly natural, uh, styles like this. I remember there was a while ago where I was doing my makeup and I ran out of lashes and I had a pair just like this and I was like, I'm not gonna like these on. And with my eyeliner and my makeup all done, they looked like sort of natural. And they looked really good. They looked like lash extensions um, and they weren't too much. So that is that style. This next one, I'm guessing, is probably about as long as the ones that I'm currently wearing right now. And these are DM237. They're very much like the first one I just showed you. The only difference is that they are longer. They actually look significantly longer. I swear these are different styles. They just, they look similar, but they are different styles. So now I'm going to get into a couple other things that they offer. Okay, I'm so sorry. I actually missed two different smaller, like, smaller styles of lashes. So this one is 3D377B, and it's definitely 3D. These are really pretty. These are an individual pack of the purple lashes, and I think they're so fun. Like, if you love makeup, these are so fun. Um... And then these right here look like the semi-wispy Ardell ones. And these are them. Super pretty. And then I'm going to open but not open if that makes sense. Like open but not touch. Just to give you an idea of the style. So this one right here is one of those like 10 piece lashes. And these are really pretty. I do really like these. In fact, I think I bought a pack like this for my personal use a while ago. It might have been this exact pack overseas. And these are really pretty. Um, they all, sorry, hold on. 
they also sell these in wholesale for I think eight dollars that might be actually like the price for consumers wholesale I don't know the price of these but they do sell these for um, eight dollars or so if you're buying them for personal use and these actually go for I believe three fifty it's not a bad price so I'm gonna get into a couple other things that they offer really quick so they offer makeup brushes which is really exciting I love makeup brushes I have way too many makeup brushes as does a lot of people who love makeup I feel like but they're these um and they come in this cute little pouch and you could buy these if you like them these tools give me flashbacks of working at makeup stores um but they're really really cute so these are them they kind of look like if like valentine's day exploded in a makeup store but i i think they're really cute they're better than the black ones like the pink ones are the red ones i feel like it's got to match your store vibe to buy them but the pink ones are so cute and then i'm also going to be sending you guys some of these as well so these are lash applicators they offer private labeling on their tools as well so they have a lot of different styles you can get them in tons of different colors and they are in this secure packaging i like that i like things really sanitary so um i like that a lot and they offer more colors than what they sent me but what they sent me was already super generous and i feel like that gives the idea of the color schemes and the colors that they offer so this is one of the last things that they sent which was these beauty blenders they actually offer beveled ones as well which is where it's like cut off at the end and that helps with sculpting with contouring so they offer these in wholesale and then they sent them in these cute little trays i like pulled out the tray i was like i showed my boyfriend i was like look what they sent me i was sitting on the couch next to him and i was so excited because like I said, like stuff like this is crazy to me. And I was like, this is so pretty. So it was just fun to go through this stuff and kind of see everything. But this right here is one of those little, I think they sell them in Japan and they shape your face. Um, I don't know the technology behind these or if they work just to be fully transparent but I know that they're super popular on TikTok. This is made of stone. It's really pretty actually. Um, so they do have these. Then something very similar to that they sent me as well, which is one of these rollers. So these I think do the same thing. I, I can't even lie. I've never bought these. I never like thought that they worked, but I know that a lot of people swear by them. So, this will be for somebody else, not for me, but it's very, very pretty. I love the pink on it. I usually wear black, but I feel like pink is just such a cute color for everything. So, I do like the pink theme with a lot of these items. I think that's really cute. Um, and also, just as far as being a business owner or even consumers, like, I feel more pulled towards, like, really cute colors for stuff that's gonna go in my bathroom or things like that like i'm very girly in that way where whenever like kylie's skin launched i didn't buy any of it okay to be clear i did not buy any of it but i was like that's cute packaging though i do like that it kind of like brought me back to high school a little bit with the stuff we would have all had in the locker room that's what stuff like that reminds me of so i do like it but i have not tried it anything like that so i do not know like, I can't speak to if it works well, but I know that they're super popular and they do sell those in wholesale if you're interested. So, last thing. These threw me for a loop, okay? They threw me for a loop. I didn't know. What, I, I thought that they were just samples, so I swatched them on my hand when I got them. And they were not samples. They were like whole ass eyeliners. I didn't know. So you can private label eyeliners and eyelash glues from them. And the funny thing is, is I have literally no idea. So I was like, oh my God, babe, look at this. And he goes, what are those? And I'm like, you know how like I use my eyeliner? I was just talking. And then he's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, he said they sent me like the types that they sell. 
so I can like show people who are starting a business, you know, just like, talking. I'm like, look, there's no product in them. <laughs> and there was product in them, all of them. It's uh, really dark actually, like it's good quality. And I was really surprised that there was actual product in them because I was trying to show it as an example, like look, they're just blank pens. And even this one, ready? I think it's glue. There's product. Um, I was just dying laughing because I was like, wait. And then I tried the pink one after. And I was like, no product, no product. Ready? Product. <laughs> so I'm assuming after doing this with three of them, I don't know why I didn't like learn the first time that there was product, but I didn't. So after doing it with three of them, I was like, I'm not going to touch any others. That way I can send them to some of you guys because um, it's sanitary. You know, I just don't want to do that. So these are so cool. They are so pretty. This one has little sparkles and pearls on it. And these are all eyeliner styles. So these look like lash glue to me. That's what I'm assuming they are. Um, and I'm assuming that because there's no color on them. So this one's also really pretty. This one is just like little diamonds, rhinestones, I guess. And they're so cute. Okay, I almost just touched it again. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna touch them. But they're so cute. I thought they were so pretty. So that's already two different styles. It's kind of hard to tell when I show you apart, but together you can see they're like actually super different. Then there's ones like this, which are really unique. Um, these are eyeliner style pens, and I'm sure you can get these in black. Um, I've never really made like private labeling makeup videos, so I'm not really going to veer into that during this video. But I will say that um, you could probably get these in black. If I was making a makeup video, I would have confirmed that or not, but... I just don't know. This is more so of like lashes, touching on my lash video, but giving you like everything as far as a vendor, good prices, MOQ, all that stuff that I wanted to kind of um, touch on in that video. But I realize now it was kind of missing parts in a sense because you guys still had a lot of questions. Like, so I'm trying to go over that in this one more thoroughly. So there is this style as well. Um, this one really just messes with my ADHD because if you look at it, I'm like, is it a word? Is it sparkles? It's gorgeous. I just don't know what's going on on it. But it kind of looks like a snake now. It's cool though. It's super cool. Um, oh my god, you guys are going to love this one. I, maybe not, but I think it's so pretty. Look at this one. It's so pretty. I'm like way too excited for this, but it's gorgeous, right? Let's see. Hardly any glitter. You can't really even see any, which is nice because you don't want to sell your customers a product that is going to rub off on their clothes and their face. And like, it's like fallout from the handle of a product. You don't want that. So these are super cool for that reason. Okay. Then we have one more of these. Um, but this one's slightly different again. It has a different color rhinestone. I'm going to show you side by side so you can see the difference. So they look similar, but they're like actually different. And then this is the last style, and this one is also different. It has pearls down the center. So I'm going to kind of show you side by side some of these. So in the copper colored ones, you can get th these three styles for eyeliners. And then as far as sparkly ones, you can get these three styles. And then as far as like what I would do, this is just me. This is just me. Like I've seen some of your businesses that you've like dropped your links down below in my comment section. And please always feel free to do that. It will never be weird. Like it won't bother me. I won't be like you're taking my business. Like please, let's all share our businesses. I love looking at your businesses um, and just all of us bringing each other up. I really subscribe to that much more than thinking that there's scarcity and um, things like that. I don't, I don't like that. Um, I really like it to be like a good environment. So as I have clicked on some of your different businesses, 
I have seen some of the coolest styles and I personally feel like you guys will like these um, just from what I've seen I feel like these are very simplistic and then the one down at the bottom that's pink it's just so fun like how do you not like that it's so fun so I really like these I personally oh wait a second okay actually before like I wrap up this video they sent them all in this cute little bag okay I'm excited from like the smallest things so they sent them in this cute little bag hold on, hold on. okay and I was like I feel like it's my birthday I really really thought this was so cute so basically um to wrap up this video they have really good prices lots of different options I hope I like showcased all the options really well I know it's probably a lengthy video but they did send me so much stuff so I just was like I want to show it all and I am going to be sending you guys some of this. I'm going to do another giveaway in the near future. I just want to do like a full giveaway with lots of stuff. So um, because of that, I'm going to hold off with these items. But they will be in an upcoming giveaway. And I just want to say thank you for watching. And thank you to Carolina Lashes for this. This is really generous. I really am grateful for this. I can already tell you that I'm gonna like walk into work and my coworkers and be like, your lashes, Chloe. So trust me when I say like, these are something I definitely would wear day to day. Um, I think they're so cute and they're comfortable for how long they are, they're really comfortable. Uh, I kind of at first felt like I was wearing, I was like, whoa, but they're comfortable and I like them and it's really exciting. I don't know when I'm going to wear these, but mark my word, you will see them in a video. And you're like, what are on her eyes? And I'm going to refer back to this video because they're just so cool. Um, thank you so much to you guys and to Carolina. I really am grateful and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Okay, hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for watching.